You want to sharpen your chisel sharp enough to shave the hair right off your arms? If you're like me, you probably have a bunch of chisels laying around that are dull and you don't take advantage of them in your shop. I'm going to show you in a very quick way a process that I've learned from some really good woodworkers and some processes that I've learned on my own that make sharpening a chisel fast and repeatable. We're going to start with a grinder. We're going to move to a honing guide and some simple adhesive back sandpaper. That's all it takes and the hair will come off your arms too. So let's get started. I want to sharpen my chisel to 25 degrees for the project I'm working on so I created this little bevel gauge to help set up my grinder. I set the bevel gauge on a tool rest and bring it up and draw it to where the heel of the bevel gauge comes in contact with the wheel. Now I'm ready to start grinding. You may ask, what's this? This is a riser block. If I have a chisel with a very long blade, I can just lay it right on the tool rest. But if I have a short chisel, I'll need something to raise it up so the shank doesn't interfere with the tool rest. So let's start grinding. As you can see, it doesn't take long to grind the proper bevel on your chisel. Now that I've established the bevel on my chisel using a grinder, I need to start the honing process. To do that, we're going to use adhesive back sandpaper down, glued down to a flat surface. Here, just a simple piece of quarter inch hardboard. I've laid out four different grits to work through the sharpening process. I need to start by flattening the back of the chisel so that when we sharpen the front, we end up with a razor sharp edge. I'm just going to start with some 150 grit and by holding the chisel flat on the surface, back and forth, I'm going to flatten the back. Stay at this grit until all the mill marks are removed and then move on to some 220 and then 320 paper. That should do it. Now I need to start working on the bevel side of the chisel. Just like I flattened this to get a razor sharp edge, I need to flatten this side to get a razor sharp edge. To do that, I use a simple little honing jig and a bevel gauge. This is a little Veritas one I like. I set the chisel in the gauge, slide it up until everything's engaged, and tighten the chisel in the honing guide. Now I start working through the grits. You may need to start with 100. I think I should be able to start with 150 grit in this case. So hold the chisel flat on the surface and just simply start rolling back and forth. And it won't take long and you'll create a super flat surface. In just a few minutes, I've gone through these four grits and I've created a pretty sharp chisel. But to get it really sharp, I need to take it one step further by going to the buffing wheel. Now I need to move to the back side of the grinder. The reason I want to move to the back side is as my buffing wheel turns, I want it to be pulling away from the blade, not digging in to get caught. I turn the buffing wheel on and apply a little buffing compound. It won't take much. That's probably enough to sharpen your chisels for the rest of the year. I take my chisel and just with a couple passes, I'll be able to hone a razor sharp edge.
Now I've created a mirror edge that is razor sharp. How sharp? Enough to take that hair right off your arms.